family it's your girl tootie toot and i am back i am back i am back with another video shout out to the squad that's in t drip set with it do i appreciate you guys for coming back and tuning in listen my name is tamika aka toot welcome to my reaction channel i appreciate everybody for tapping in with toot now listen we're about to get into this interview it's a lot of controversy everybody know that toya and regine uh reality show has just dropped there's a lot of speculations on what's real and what's not so we're about to get into this interview without further ado let's get into it it's gonna be nosy just talk some shit. Y'all know who it is, your favorite cousin. Check it in, Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. I got my girl in the building, Miss Shanika. Shout it, shout it, man. Hey. And you know what, man? We got some special guests in the building. I'm talking about, listen, two of the coolest to ever do it. When I say the jeans is good, I'm not talking about the um, <laughs> guest jeans. I'm talking about the genetics, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the building with us, joining us, we got Toya and Regine. Yeah. 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 Hey. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. What's up, y'all? We're good. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? It'd be funny when we start. Like, good morning. Good morning. Right. Good morning. <laughs> What's up? Good morning. <laughs> Welcome right. back Definitely. to the reality television realm. Whoa. The last time Toya and Red was here, I was like, we y'all getting back on reality TV. They was looking like. <laughs> they ain't want to I should have known it was a deal <laughs> in the works somewhere. So what's it like you two joining forces to give the world some of the most entertaining content that they've seen in a while? Well, it's exciting because this time, you know, it's me and Regine. We right. have our own platform, doing our own thing, and just allowing people to come into our world to see that, you know, the things that we don't share on social media, the real, the raw, and the ugly. So this is really what you could consider mother-daughter goals. <laughs> I'm saying yeah. because, you know... Some people think once they could just hang out with they, they kid, they balling. Oh, you know, we we cute, we look alike. But no, y'all are getting a bag together. Y'all expressing y'all true sentiments. Y'all being transparent, open about, you know, what's going on in your lives or what you choose to let the world see. I think it's a beautiful thing. Thank you. Who told Regina to grow up? I'm saying. I know, right? <laughs> no, I, I, I can't take Shawty Shawty serious over here looking like a goddamn Mike Epps uncle. I... Then you got the orange, so it's like I can automatically just can't see me. He don't look like, all right, maybe I'm, I don't know. <laughs> you a whole grown lady up I'm here. I'm about hey, a man. whole grown lady. Hey, 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 I know, y'all. Baby. Baby. I'm trying to go back to school. I mean, am I bugging? Yeah. Yeah, I went back in 19. <laughs> you went back in 19. He tried. 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 That's where he was 40. He liked him 19. Oh, God. Oh, that was so little. Jesus. All right. I just oh, want to say, Regina, it ain't fucking y'all up. If it's, I'm not. <laughs> listen. It ain't fucking y'all up. He don't look like him to y'all. This man look like goddamn Mike Epps' uncle, like the one before him. You feel me? Like, that's right has been relevant since birth like yeah. she had i did her first interview when she was like eight okay they tried, yeah. to, they tried to kill her on the internet oh my oh, god yeah. you and, yes. yes. uh, and she had to call she was in. like i don't know why they would talk about me i'm just a little girl <laughs> I'm a child. i was like she was you know, devastated she, by it. It devastated yeah. a lot of people like why would people do that so nay being that you've been relevant all this time how are you dealing with the blogs and the people these days? Because I didn't see you get at the people. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Well, like, I feel like as I get older, I mature, and I know, like, what not to respond to and what to respond to because I feel like we're all human. At some point, we all have a breaking point. Uh -huh. So I feel like, yeah, I just pray. I have a relationship with God, mm -hmm. and I talk to my mom. My mom is really on me about how she's she be in my village and not always going to the internet and going off and clapping back. Like, I know who I am. I know who my parents are. I know who my friends are. So I don't have to clap back all the time. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. Do you read the comments? Oh, yeah, I do sometimes. But I feel like that's normal. But I don't let it get to me. I feel like I have a lot of good. I see a lot of good out of the bad comments. No, 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 yeah. Let me ask you this. Whenever you see certain like comments that might take a shot at you, but it's funny, do you laugh? Yes. Man, I stay cracking up. I'm my the best entertainment. Oh, my God. There was one person that roasted my motherfucking ass in the comment section one time. I shot it, and I'm so silly to where I... 
me and the person who was roasting me, it, me and that motherfucker end up laughing so hard in the comments. We weren't even mad at each other no more after the fact. But it was the funniest shit. Like, sometimes it do be funny. Gosh, I crack up at my DMs all the time. Oh, they, they be brave. They send it to the DMs. Oh, yes. They don't care. Whoa. They oh, they on now. All they doing is typing. Twitter fingers. Twitter yeah. fingers. Yeah. So, <laughs> y'all brought a different light to this, you know, celebrity dynamic as mother and daughter. Now, I know you didn't think that you was going to have to, I guess, mother so much, like, on a, on a big level like this. So, you kind of grew into this role, like... Y'all were on reality television. You got people saying this, that, and the third. Um, how do you handle it all? You know, I'm going to always be mama bear. Sometimes it's only so much you could take. I'll be like, don't play with my baby. Eh. You know, I play about a lot of stuff. But when, my, when it comes to my kids and disrespect, especially from men, you know, like, you know, different people, I just be like, Enough is enough. But I've also learned to ignore it. Like, I understand that is the internet. Everybody entitled to their own Pretty opinion. Girls, go to but bed. it's like, come on. When it comes to my daughters, like, I'm going to always defend them. So we've been following y'all's life journey for a long Quite time, time now. Yeah. Yeah. Where does this new show kick off in your life? Well, it's, it kicks off at, you know, this this stage of our lives. Like, you know, I'm newly married. My daughter is going into adulthood. She's made some changes, moved, uh, you know, focusing on her career. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, and, you know, like just the whole family dynamic. You said going into adulthood. Well, you know, now Mom's that she's, she's you know, moms don't never want. Yeah, to yeah, I don't ever want to. I don't know, y'all. I really that's am. Always been my baby. I feel like that's 20. really. Yeah, yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Twenty five. Yeah, she no, gonna be twenty five. But my, me saying that is like oh my God. watching her step into her own, oh like God. doing yeah. everything herself, moving away. Like that's like grown, grown. You know, wow. so you see that chapter in her life, like you. Know, what you saw when we left off on reality TV, you see a, a a woman, like, you know, somebody that's growing, like, the new version of her. Know how to move. Yeah, so that's what I mean by that. But that's not always with my babies. So. All right, Regine, where, <laughs> where are you at at this point? We seen the little, the back and forth with the, what's his name, Armand? Mm -hmm. The little cutie pie. We seen y'all was a whole couple out here. Are you, are you single? <laughs> I'm watching this shit just for y'all because listen, man. At the end of this season, y'all don't even gotta come on Twitter and say too you was right. Just hit my DM quiet. Because <laughs> if alright, all right, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Y'all was a whole couple out here at this point. But that's not always with my babies. So. All right, Regine. Where <laughs> where are you at at this point? We seen a little the back and forth with the, what's his name, Armand? Mm -hmm. The little cutie pie. We seen y'all was a whole couple out here. Are you, are you single? <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, I feel like, <laughs> yes, I am single, but I feel like <laughs> on the show, you're going to see me go through things. Mm -hmm. I feel like as a young adult, you can relate to it. People my age and this generation, how dating is. Also, you're going to see me work, acting, me. I you see how she spin that? You see that? It ain't still hard to talk about. It ain't no fucking fresh. <laughs> it's, they lying. It's hard to lie like that. Bro, like, that ass fucking serious. This is the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Bro, if y'all don't see through this, bro, this is not how you break up. I just don't understand. I just shot my second movie. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, so you're yeah. just gonna, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so you're just gonna see me just become my true self. And I'm excited for everybody to see it. So let me ask this. How do y'all deal with each other when... Because it seems like every time you choose to date, you take us a hand. Samir said, Samir, Samir hit my DM and said, too. 
Oh, it really happened. I said, Samir, go get in the bed. Son, these folks ain't no goddamn broke up. And they ain't playing on our, on our mental. What they're doing is, basically, they got to they gotta make some money. Now, the whole point of doing this shit is to make some money. But I guarantee you, um, they're going to they gonna have a scene. I can see it already. going to be a scene. Our mind going to walk through the park in L.A. and shit. They going to get back together and some shit on TV. But if you don't think that they done seen each other or be around each other, boy, y'all crazy as hell. And the dating. Um, everybody on the outside looking in has their own standards they think you're supposed to adhere to. You know what I'm saying? Which is so unfair. But that just shows you the level of uh, integrity people believe that you have. And they feel you should have someone of a certain status, mm -hmm. social status, or a level of integrity to match yours. Cause it seems like every time you get in a relationship, people are judging. How do you deal with that? One for one, because I know as mom, you mm -hmm. was dealing with dealing with somebody I felt was too much older or advanced, and now you feel like somebody who is not as manly enough for you, or is too, just mm -hmm. just you know may whine more than you. How do you deal with that? Um, I feel like we're all growing, we're all learning. Nobody's perfect. I don't look at people' titles and what they have or what they can bring to the table much. So I feel like I look at their heart. Mm -hmm. I look at how they treasure me, how they show me that they know my worth and they can add tax with it. So I feel like I'm just learning and growing. I know what I'm not going to allow. And I know that I've stuck into, I stuck in things where I wasn't happy and I'm not going to do that again. I feel like when you're not happy, our generation needs to start learning how to get up and move and go and, that's what I'm oh. No, and that's some real nigga shit, though, for real. Because you're starting to see more and more um, young couples, you know what I'm saying, pass away from, like, domestic violence and things like this or whatever. That's my man. That's my homeboy, too. When you said this nigga Jock is a clown, Jock is actually a real sweetheart. Me and him, we went to high school together, actually. But um, this is just certain things that she had to say. And I just think that sometimes people got to understand that at the end of the day, you know what I mean, it's entertainment. You feel me? But I I looked at I looked at uh I looked at a lot of Armand's tweets yesterday and they were so superficial. You feel me? You gotta also start playing, you gotta also start paying attention to the people that's around it. Around them. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. He man, he, that man, listen, bro, I don't know what to say. Now look, even if they do stay friends or whatever y'all wanna call it, nobody was hurt. I'm telling you. Him nor her. I don't think that it's over between them. I think that they have to sell a show. And when you really think about it, like the drama couldn't really come from Toya and Red. They're brand new married. You feel me? So it's like it can come from that. You feel me? Or whatever like that. But I just I don't think it's over with. And if I mean, and if it is, I stand corrected. I'll be the first one to say it. I just I'm really kind of good with judging that type of shit. And I don't I don't see it ending with that. I just don't see when you're trying to move on from somebody who you used to really love and be with. I don't see that you're staying in the same realms of that person, you know? Um, I don't see that. I don't see that you still, um, I don't I don't think that you still, like, integrate shit. And there's still, it's a, still a lot of integration going on, you feel me? And I just don't see that as being a standard breakup. Well, one thing I'm going to say, one thing I'll be, <laughs> they're going to be able to say about you is you a rider. Period. I'm going to give you that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow! We're gonna address the elephant in the room. Have you spoken with Lucci? <laughs> and are you speaking as that Kendall? We um, Kendall after the, is he on uh, the prayer list? Yeah. <laughs> um, I wish um, Ray Lucci. I wish him the best. Um, I have not spoken to him, but I wish him the best. I pray for him, and yeah. Yeah. All right, what would you guys? You know that pisses me off when they ask ask the um her questions like that. You know, Lucci is 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 almost like Lucci is is looking forward to doing almost twenty five years in jail. Lucci got three kids already. You know what I'm saying? Lucci's had a predominantly long relationships with his baby mamas and shit. And what I, I I don't understand why men, academics, this nigga here that look like Mike Epps' uncle. Like, what do you expect for her to do to something like that? Why is it even a question? Lucci ain't here. For whatever reasons, he ain't here for. And you know they're not good reasons if you're talking about Rico's and 25 plus. You know what I'm saying? So you would want a young lady that's thriving in the middle of, like, 
peeking into her womanhood to still be concerned about that nigga. But then you will sit here and you want to clown on our mind because he does a mukbang and he don't have to worry about going to a corner store and being shot up. <laughs> you, so, so to now this generation is so screwed to where Lucci will be considered a, 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 a typical real nigga. Where our mind is the weak one. And y'all, and a lot of people just be so brain when you listen to academics. And I don't understand how anybody can listen to a man who beard stank. You know what I'm saying? If a man's beard and mustache stank, you shouldn't even talk to him. You feel me? You can't believe nothing. They can't be trusted. You got to watch that show. Like it's for, some stuff going on on that show. I know. For people to know, like, the intention that was set going into this show, what would you like the mothers, the daughters, the family to be able to take from it? Well, you know, when we first decided to do the show, like I said, we wanted to show the mother-daughter dynamic and the things that we have going on in our lives. And then, you know, things take a turn. You know, life gets a life and Our family is also a part of the show. So you see, like, mm. a lot of family drama Same and stuff that people... Table. Yeah, you know, you see stuff that people go through every day, and it was very vulnerable moments and real stuff that we deal with on a day-to-day um, and as far as me and Re uh, Regine's relationship, you show, I always call Lorraine, I know, and call mm. Rain Regine. But anyway, you yeah. see, you know, how we always there for each other. And when we're going through things, how we, like mother and daughter, we bump heads, mm. but we always have each other back no matter what. I think so, that's important to yeah. show <laughs> because you have so many mothers and daughters that are in competition. Yeah, Lucci as an artist is out cold. I still bump the nigga music. Oh my God, he got some great shit. No lie, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. But Lucci is a man. No, he's not ideal for Re uh, for Regine. Regine has no children. And then she's walking into a, f a man that has three already. And I'm not saying that that's a problem, but it's just the fact that he's not coming out no time soon. 25 years. So you, you, you just said that she's 25 years old. So if she waited that nigga's bid, by the time he get out, she might not even be able to conceive anymore. You feel me? She'd be fucking 50. And I don't understand why grown ass men like this nigga in this orange would even ask a question like that. You know what I mean? Like you sound stupid as hell. Like what is she supposed to say to Lucci? What is she supposed to do besides pray for the nigga? Like I don't understand what what else she supposed to do. With each other, and it's so weird to me. So or just or mother and daughters who don't know how to yeah they don't know interact how to. and engage yeah. with each other. And I think the problem is like as mothers, you know, we look at how we grew up. And how our parents look at how they grew up. And you try to parent how you used to parent. And when times has changed, you know, we can't parent how we parent, how our parents parented no, us. No, no. Right. Right. Because the, the, the world is different. Like, it's not yeah. the same. So sometimes we have to listen to our kids more. Like, all, always be their mom, 100%. But you have to change the way you move and do things because the world is changing and moving differently. Y'all hear that? Yeah. That's, so. a, that's the woman who got her ish together, her okay. head all right, right there. Because, see... They not trying to sell their show on that ratchet. They got some real core values, scruples, and morals. Mm -hmm. And I, I think y'all need to tune in. What's the name? What's the name of the new show again? Let them know. So I am Regine. Yeah, we got a little. You know, we ain't perfect. We got a little, little ratchet in there. <laughs> yeah. hey, but, but you ain't using the ratchet. We got that moment. But you ain't pushing the oh, ratchet no, right no, now. No, no, no. I mean life. You know, you nothing go. is perfect. There like I said, we are not. And that's the thing about this show. We show you that, you know, no matter the glitz and glam and the stuff we are exposed to, we are human just like you. We go through stuff just like you. We won't fight and, 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 and do shit that we're not supposed to be doing. <laughs> but guess what? We're human. You know, like we get mad. We get upset. Like we have those blackout moments. Y'all don't throw but it's water real. on each other, Oh, no, we not. I'm not promoting that. We don't promote that. And that's <laughs> not me. But you no, I don't think that she deal with Lucci no more because honestly speaking, Lucci got a whole nother female by now. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. So I don't think that she even kick it with him at all. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, we have the moments where you wanna, you know, step outside your body for a minute. Right. Wow. <laughs> Women. That yeah, is men. With men. Yeah. I try to be as reserved as possible. I need y'all to make sure y'all tune in talk today. It will uh, uh it'll premiere today. We playing it Friday or Okay. Well, I didn't know if you was playing tomorrow. All right. So y'all make sure y'all tune in to Toy and Regine premieres August the 24th um, with all new episodes. I, I'm, I'm ready to see this. I seen some of the stuff and I was laughing, boy. Oh, yeah. At that table. Was that your brother at the table? Oh, we all have that person. Ooh, don't we all? <laughs> Again, we got to say thank y'all. Yeah. Continue success and blessings, man. And yeah, y'all make sure y'all stick around for more. Y'all jock in the streets morning. Take over. Yeah.
Now, what I'm not understanding is what did he say that was derogatory? Because I've seen a lot of people getting mad at Jock saying that he said something that was um, terrible against Armand. And I actually don't see that he did anything. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. I just I just don't see um, him saying anything disrespectful. I don't even think Regine said anything disrespectful. You know what I mean? I think when she was talking about knowing what she would accept and allow, I think she was talking more so about her relationship with Lucci. I don't think that it had anything to do with Armand. I think it was more generalized. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. So, uh, yeah, I want to know. I want to know how y'all feel. Drop it down in the comments. Drop it down in the comments. You feel me? Y'all stay tuned. Hold on one second.